Now, in, in terms of, say, the, uh, the tax credits that uh, if, if you uh, are able to get on to, say, the Affordable Care Act in the marketplace and, and you get a tax credit, um, basically you have to pay that money back. So does it well, really you cost? You don't have to pay that money back. Um, well, the, the tax credit is a credit just like a, a, a credit. Um, it's advanceable and, and, um, and you can it comes off your taxes, so you don't have to pay the money back. Now, if your um, income goes up and you're not eligible for a component of that, then the IRS, like they do with any other credit, adjusts it. But in most people's cases, they're not paying any, they don't have to pay anything back. Okay, but uh, like for example, when you sign on, as I appreciate it, uh, basically um, you estimate what your in income's gonna be, if it does, if, if it is more than that, then then you're gonna have to pay the differential. But this is more of a, shall I say, a loan by the the government. Am I correct? The federal government. It's, and and it's and, not and a so, loan. it's not a loan. Well, I mean, in a sense. I mean, let, let me, yeah, let me just finish if I may. And that is that that for those people who were expecting, say a uh, uh, say a refund, a tax refund, that tax refund could be diminished because of the use of the tax credit, assuming that they chose to have that, uh, that uh, to use a tax credit to mm -hmm. pay for their premium. Is, is that, is that? Well, is think, that, about, well, think uh, about what you do when you pay your taxes, right? You and I, we estimate how much we're going to end up having to pay with taxes at the end of the year. And if we guess correctly, um, we don't have to pay anything back. And the government doesn't, you know, isn't owed anything, and we don't get anything back. But most of us um, either get something back or have to pay something at the end of the year. And tax credits operate pretty much the same way. We do a great guesstimate based on some intelligent knowledge about what our income is going to be, and the credit is to help you reduce what you would have paid for health insurance. And if that is off, then you might get a um, um, having to pay a little bit of that back. Um, but that is expected not to be a, a big deal once people are comfortable with the system and people get a, we, we get better at it. And we're going to get better at it over the years. You know, lots of young people, when they first get into the workplace and they first do their first assessment of what they're going to have to pay for their taxes, um, a lot of people get year-end surprises, as you, you may know. Um, I certainly did when I first went into the workplace. Um, but I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm much better at it uh, in terms of predicting my taxes. And I suspect as we get better at it as a system, this tax credit idea, will, in terms of how much people might have to pay back, we'll get better at it over time. Yeah, I'm not criticizing the system uh, on this point at all. What, what I'm saying is that uh, is that part of part of at least the refund that one would normally get could could Already have paid for the, uh, the the premium for the for the insurance. Well, remember, and, remember, it's not a loan. The government is giving. No, you no, but it's, it's not a loan at all. It's, right. But it's, it's right. in a sense, it's like prepaying. So I, I'm not sure of the analogy, but you know, basically, uh, I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. The the government, if you qualify, the government will pay the uh, premium, and then at, at the end of the year, or the following year, you determine whether or not uh, how much your income is, and if you're entitled to a, a tax refund, that tax refund might be um, reduced, uh, commensurate with the premium that has already been paid by the, the federal government. Well, the government is, is, giving, is, is giving you a credit on some of your premium. Um, in most cases, they're reducing what you would have paid out of your pocket. So if your premium was 150 bucks, um, with the tax credit, for example, your premium may be only be 50 bucks, and um, and the you know, government is covering by giving you 100 bucks every month to pay that premium. And then at the end of the year, if it turns out that there is a differential there, and and um, you weren't eligible for the pre, you know, for that much premium assistance, you may very well. Um, have to give some of that um, uh, offset that with taxes, um, but 
you know, they're working on that. And sure. but remember that you would have had to pay all of that out of pocket for health insurance. And in fact, that's assuming that, that you sure, and, and that's assuming that you can get it. No, the the uh, I think the overall point I'm trying to make is that it's not, you know, a lot of people think, well, oh, well, this is government money. Well, it's really the people's, you know, the individual insurance money in a great part because they would have received a lot of the tax credit back or in, in terms of uh, they, they would have received uh, much of or some of the refund back that has, has now been diminished. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, 